Hi there, Denny here from Universal Studios Florida and I am headed to dinner. It's time to have a magical meal. I'm taking you with me. I hope you're hungry. Quick shout out to the whole Nine Yards Patreon team. For the first time in Universal Studios, shout out to the team. I am so thankful for them. They sponsor the channel. They create so much magic. And if you want to check out how to become a member of the Patreon team, check it out at patreon.com slash Denny underscore Sunderly. All right, here we go. Diagon Alley. We'll go this way. Heading to a little bit of dinner. All right, here's King's Cross Station. On our way back to dinner. Wait time is 45 minutes right now for Hogwarts Express. And we continue on. Ooh, I feel air conditioning. <laughs> that feels good. Here we go. We're gonna walk here into this nondescript entranceway. <laughs> And dinner awaits on the other side. Yay! Here we are in Diagon Alley. Too cool. <laughs> and just like that, we are in Diagon Alley. And you and I are going to eat at the Leaky Cauldron. Now, let's look around for a quick second here before we enter the establishment. Leaky Cauldron, here we go. We've got breakfast, Start, it's until 10.30. So that's, that's great to know, right down to the apple oatmeal flan with yogurt and fruit, super cute. Oh no, <laughs> what did you do now? <laughs> Same stuff, he just got caught. Well, that's about right, right there. All right, and over here we have got the menu for lunch and dinner. So starting at 10.30, all of this right down to a kid's menu. I love that they've got kid's menu. Okay, I'm so excited to be here. Can I be really honest? This is my favorite area. Really, it's the Harry Potter areas. So it's, it's both sections of the Wizarding World, but I really love Diagon Alley. Okay, as we enter into the wait area, you've got a really cool board here to let you know exactly what you've got. So, bangers and mash, hunter's chicken, fish and chips, cottage pie, fisherman's pie, mini pie combination, that's interesting. Sticky toffee pudding, and from what I understand, we have to get that. And Brian will be down with that, I know. Yep. Let's make some choices and enter in. Here we go. I don't know. I don't know. I've got to decide. I have no idea. Hello, too. The theming inside here is just amazing. So pretty. Yesterday's specials. <laughs> Yesterday's specials. Fried partridge eggs with crispy bat wings, newt sausages, as always, and family spirits are available. Okay, let's look again at this. So the chocolate potted cream, I'm, yes, I'm focusing on dessert right now. <laughs> Sounds fantastic. Okay, plums. Wow. Okay, I am loving seeing these pictures that are popping up because I'm gonna have to try to make a decision here. Banger sandwich. I'm getting the fish and chips. Who am I? <laughs> Who am I getting? There's the fish and chips. Let's get those fish and chips. All right, so the Universal team member let us know that we need to pick our own seat. You need to have the Universal app and you order via mobile order. Now, this did not used to be the case here. So is it a COVID change? Maybe a, it was a pandemic change. So they'll bring you the food and you they've got little scannable things here those are QR codes, scannable things on the table. 
and you can order away. Download that app and order. This is the dining room. This is where I will make a confession. I don't know all the things in the Harry Potter Wizarding World. I just don't. I've watched the first movie and most of the other ones. I mean, I, I know I got, saw the second, I'm sure I saw the third, and bits and pieces of really all of them. Brian has read the books and knows the movies backwards and forwards. But I am still really enjoying this. Like, it has been years since we've been here, literal years. But it's all good. I am starting the meal with Otter's Fizzy Orange Juice for $6.49. This beverage features fizzy orange juice. In fact, they call it an effervescent orange drink with notes of vanilla and cinnamon. And I just love the presentation. And there's a whole lot of cinnamon right there. So, bon appetit. What would they say? What, what, would, they, what would Harry Potter say? Chug a lug. Here we go. Oh. <laughs> okay, sugary, cinnamony for sure, and it's falling off the, <laughs> off the cup. That is delicious. Oh, I'm really glad I got this. <coughs> so sugar and cinnamon, it's not as like, Orangey is, say, like a Fanta. Clearly, this is not Fanta soda. This is really good. And it's not like carbonated in your face. That's delicious. Get this. All right, here is the hunter's chicken. Let me back up just a little bit. The light is very low right now, so please forgive me. English peas with pea tendrils minted English peas with pea tendrils. So this is uh, bacon wrapped chicken breast, I think it's okay, with Monterey Jack and cheddar cheese. Thank you though. And then our chips, of course. So $16.99. This is $17.99. This is the fish and chips, so North Atlantic cod and fry, battered and fried. You've got some tartar sauce there, a lemon wedge and chips, and then of course, for dessert, our sticky toffee pudding. Look at this baby, $7.99. It is time to eat. Um, I've got a little, we're splitting this, so great way to try two dishes in one fail swoop. So I'm trying the Hunter's Chicken. Bon Appetit, Harry. That's delicious. Yeah? <laughs> that is so good. It's like wrapped in bacon and a couple different kinds of cheese, right? Holy cow. Oh, yeah. No, it's the Monterey Jack and the cheddar. I think they made it. Like, it took a while to this get This is out. delicious. No, you're right. It's, mm. It is so good. That barbecue gravy. I cannot stand when barbecue sauce is, like, smothering something. Like, I don't like an overwhelming barbecue taste. This is not. This is delicious. They the bacon really is perfect. The, the huh? Chicken. It's like sitting under the chicken. Yeah. So it's not yeah. Covering it. Oh my gosh. Yeah. It's delicious. The one thing that we knew going into it is that the portion is slightly small. We've been warned about that by the team member, and he was not wrong. So maybe a bigger chicken breast would be even better. In fact, I know it would be. But this taste, it's delicious. Onto the minted English peas. Oh, I feel very, no. No, I will not try my English accent, my British accent. Are they minted? I don't think so. But they're good. Uh, they're peas, I enjoy peas. Here's the North Atlantic cod. This is the fish and chips. That is so good. No disrespect to the Yorkshire County fish shop in the UK Pavilion in Epcot. But this beats that hands, hands down. <laughs> hands, all the hands are down I right now. I order that all the time. Yeah. And I really, and I love it. Brian, Brian's saying he loves it. He orders it all the time when we're but in Epcot. It but it tends to be very salty. It does, it does this tend to be salty. Mm -mm. You're right. This is delicious. Um, light, 
not overly fishy. Um, the batter, like the fry, is still very, it's significant without being overpowering. Let's try this tartar sauce here. Yeah, a little it's bit not of like the tartar. A shell of fry. Mm -mm. I like getting the fish and chips in Epcot, like once every two years, something like that. I would get this all the time. This is so good. It's light. I mean, Yorkshire County can get really heavy, especially if you're out on a busy, hot park day. This is not that. Forgive me for the mood lighting. <laughs> it is so dark in here. But it's themed and it's fun. Now for the chips, thick cut fries. Yummy, warm, salty. It's great to note that you've got vinegar here at the table. Brian was the one to point this out. We each have a little caddy here. So vinegar, and then you've got mustard, mustard, ketchup, and all of that. Okay, I gotta eat, but we need to try the sticky toffee pudding because we have something melting over here. Our ice cream is melting. All right, let's give this a whirl. This is like the traditional English dessert, which is much loved. Oh my gosh, look at that. Oh, you're gonna love that. Holy cow. Flavors of caramel and cinnamon and vanilla. It is, um, it's like, it's a, it's a bread pudding, right? That's, that's what it, that's what it's coming across as. Warm, comforting. That's money well spent in my book. Now we'll wrap up. It's time to wrap up the review as we savor a little sticky toffee pudding. Um, if you are a Harry Potter fan, make a stop at Leaky Calder. Please make a stop. It is, as you might guess, completely enchanting. And for Harry Potter fans, who doesn't want to be wrapped up in this environment? I can really find no fault in the food that we enjoyed this evening, and I will say enjoyed. I'm happy with the money. I'm happy with the money that I spent here at Leaky Cauldron tonight. It was, oh, and the dragon's breathing fire outside right now. It was delicious. The um, the fish and chips are about four dollars and fifty cents more expensive than you'll find in Epcot. But you got an extra piece of fish here, and really the caliber of the fish, the preparation, all of it. High, high, high. <laughs> well above what you're going to find in Epcot. So I don't mind spending a little bit more. The Hunter's Chicken, like I said, that was that was so good. I just wish the portion size was a little larger. That would be great. For your $16.99, that would be really great. I did get to the mint on the peas. So those minted peas fans out there can just rest assured. We can all take a deep collective breath because there was indeed mint. So for me, this was a winner, winner Harry Potter dinner. I did, I mean, still savoring that sticky toffee pudding. So here's the question that I've got for you. Have you been to Leaky Cauldron here at Universal Studios? Let me know down in the comments section. And if you have a favorite counter service spot, here in either Islands of Adventure or Universal Studios, please let me know down below. I am, I don't want to say a universal newbie, but I am, it's, it's not my go-to, and so I'm not really up on the universe here at Universal like I am at Disney. So please leave me your hints and tips below because we all need all the hints and tips we can get. Again, huge shout out to the whole Nine Yards Patreon team. You can click the link in the description to find out all the details and how to join the team. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you are having a magical, magical, magical day, whatever you are up to. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking. Please subscribe to the channel and hang out more often. And if you'd like to follow me on Instagram for fun in between all the videos, you can find me at Denny underscore Sunderly. Have a great one, friends. From Diagon Alley and Leaky Cauldron here at Universal Studios, Florida. Take good care, everyone. Bye-bye. <laughs>